Hello everyone. Now we will solve one another question on the scale. The question is that construct a scale when one meter is equal to 2.5 centimeter. Then show a distance of 4 meter 5 decimeter 6 centimeter, 3.95 meter and 2.3. Now in this question you can see there it is not giving any type of scale whether you have to draw the plane scale or diagonal scale. So I have told you how to identify that just check the values which we have to show. Now these values are having three units or we can say one main unit and its subdivision up to two decimal places. So this is the question of diagonal scale. So same like plane scale, we have to follow the same method. First we will do the step one. Now what is step one? Step one says that we have to find out the RF. So what is RF? RF stands for representative factor and that is equal to size on drawing upon actual size now what is the size on drawing here 1 meter is equal to 2.5 centimeter the smaller value is 2.5 so it will go here 2.5 centimeter divided by 1 meter if you simplify this you will get 25 by 10 meter into centimeter 100 centimeter so centimeter centimeter cancel so it will be 1 by 40 so that is why I was saying that RF has no unit now step 2 step 2 says that we have to find out the maximum distance now in this question maximum distance is not given I have told you when the maximum distance is not given just check the bigger value this is 4 meter 5 hectometer 6 centimeter just round up that it will be 5 meter so maximum distance to measure will be 5 meter now step 3 we have to find out the alloys alloy stands for length of scale so what is length of scale that is RF into maximum distance now what is that 1 by 40 RF into maximum distance that is 5 meter convert that into centimeters always so you are getting now this is 12.5 centimeters now we have to do this step 4 so step 4 is drawing so this is the question of diagonal scale so we will just make the same plane scale there are only three differences in plane and diagonal scale I'll tell you that so what to do take the alloy as length of scale line of line equals to length of scale a horizontal line I have drawn exactly horizontal line, light line, thin line, 12.5 cm. Now we have to divide 12.5 cm into how many parts? Equals to maximum distance given, that is 5 meters. So we will divide 12.5 into 5 parts. So each part will be 2.5. So with scale, very easily you can make that. This is 2.5, 2.5. And in this way you get the five parts now we do the numbering it is just similar to the plane scale we start with a the zero then one two three and four just similar to the plane scale then now what is this this is the bigger division biggest division what is that uh, this is meters so here we will write meters now the second value is that we have to find out the 10 divisions of a to 0 means this is meter that will be what decimeter so how to find out 10 division again it is 2.5 so we cannot make 10 division with scale so we have to use the same acute angle method so make acute angle here less than 90 any angle now you want 10 divisions on a to 0 but make 10 division of this acute angle length of this acute angle may be any it depends so you can take any length now after that you have to take 5 5 mm 10 divisions so you can mark 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 right after that we will do the numbering so this is with the single dash same just same like you have done in the plane scale 
after that what to do we will join 0 with 10 like this then draw the parallel lines just same step as you have done in the plane scale mainly the mistake will be while making the parallel lines so do practice of this thing try to take equal gap and draw proper parallel lines right now the difference first difference in plane scale you have taken 2 cm perpendicular but here you have to take 5 cm perpendicular again I am telling you just try to make this on the grid sheet otherwise you will not be able to solve the question you will not be able to uh, make the exact parallel lines Now what to do? We have to close the rectangle. Like this. Right? Now what to do? Uh, we have taken 10 divisions here. You Now in diagonal scale you have to take 10 divisions in upper direction also. This is the second difference. First difference in plane scale you have taken 2 mm height, 2 cm height. Here you have to take 5 cm height. In plane scale you take only one division at one centimeter but in diagonal scale you have to take 10 divisions in upward direction so how you can do that you have taken five centimeters so again you can take half of or five mm or half centimeter just mark the points now just to make the parallel lines exact i will take 10 divisions here also then I will join the points and we will get the exact parallel lines now I will join them if you are using this grid sheet then you can do it very easily all the parallel lines all the divisions there it is actually uh, already 10 centimeter 10 mm is there you can directly make half of 10 mm so that is the benefit of grid sheet right now the third difference in plane and diagonal scale in plane scale you have taken alternate perpendiculars if you remember in the diagonal scale we will not take alternate perpendiculars we will make the diagonals how to make diagonals just see it very carefully this is the start point from this first point first division you have to join the corner an inclined line will come and then all the lines inclined I'll show you this now every line will be inclined right so uh, I can give an uh, easy method to, to do that how to take the how to do the easy method just before making the inclined line you can take the perpendicular points do not draw the line but take perpendicular point mark it on the top surface just to make the parallel lines inclined lines it will help you means I am saying if a line is perpendicular if I have to join a perpendicular I will join this point with this one but I am not making the perpendicular I am making the diagonal lines so there is a gap of one box so this one with zero then two with one so you can now very easily join the parts and exactly you will have parallel lines and same size of 
box draw very light line do not make dark lines because these are the construction lines only dark will be only the solution right now remember that here will be one triangle in the last triangle in the first and every line will be having the same dimension now we will show the value this is actually the diagonal scale having three differences from plane scale first height 5 cm second 10 divisions rather than one, one or two divisions then diagonal lines now we will show the values or uh, before that I, I must tell you the bigger divisions are meters and these 0 to a the smaller divisions are decimeters so we write the units here I have told you scale is the only chapter where we write the units otherwise in any of the chapter we never write the units because in this in the chapter scale on the same diagram we are we are dealing with a number of units so we have to mention the units otherwise no need to mention now I will say meters decimeters and in upward direction there is centimeters write in the same format of that writing now we will show the values first value we have to show that is 4 meter 5 decimeter 6 centimeter again like the plane scale this value right side of 0 this value left side of 0 this value upward of 0 so 0 will be the start point so first is 4 meter so from this 0 0 to 1 2 3 4 so this is what 4 meter then 5 decimeter so from this 0 count the boxes take step then count 5 so this point now from this 4 to this point this is 4.5 then third value is 6 so in the same inclined line go upward and count 6 1 take step then count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the point from this point to this point this is what the required value 4 meter 5 decimeter 6 centimeter so what to do just make it dark in the plane scale you are darkening the vertical line but in diagonal scale you have to darken the horizontal line now we will do the dimensioning listen very carefully how to do dimensioning in diagonal scale you have to take the perpendicular exactly perpendicular starting from the point do not hold the scale inclined take it perpendicular and exactly vertical line it will not go along with the line it will go like this if you can see it will not go along the diagonal it will go perpendicular straight vertical and here also you have to take 2 mm gap and extension line then 10 mm gap and we have to draw the dimension line and then we have to write the dimension value just like plane scale we write the value in the same format it is given 4 meter 5 decimeter 6 centimeter use the same letter writing shape you know how to write all the numerals now the second step is we have to solve 3.95 so 3.95 means from this 0 3 on this side 9 on this side and 5 upward so this 0 to this 3 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then upward 5 so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 so from this point to this so the given value is 3.95 so we will make the dark line here so only the answer is dark because all, all other are the construction lines only the main required length that should be dark now take again exactly perpendicular this is the mistake which everyone will do do not take dimensions inclined start it from the, here we don't need uh, 2 mm gap you can start it from the exact point because a number of boxes are there do not leave 2 mm gap between extension line and object line but line should be exactly vertical here also 2 mm gap like this and then dimension line 10 mm gap in between two dimension line like this then arrow heads it must have the same format of value what is that 
it is given over there 3.95 so we will write in the same format 3.95 meters now the third value which we have to show that is 2.31 meters how to show 2.31 so from this 0 to this side 2 from this 0 to this side 3 2 3 and 1 upward so this is the point and from here it is the point this is 2.31 so how to measure just mark these points and darken this line right then do the dimensioning again from outside 2 mm gap a very light extension line extension line can cross any line now exactly from the point take vertical lines like this then do dimensioning here and then arrowheads now this is what 2.31 meters in the same format the value is here now this is meter, decimeter, centimeter, the three values. Now we have to give dimension to the scale. Now we have to show the LOS, same like plane scale. There are two extension lines, two mm gap from object line. Exactly horizontal. And then arrowheads, thin line. Thin arrowhead, more in length, less in width. Now this is what? This is LOS. Now what is the value of LOS here? That is 12.5 cm. So we will write the same 12.5 cm here. Here we will mention the RF. So in this question we get the RF that is equal to 1 by 40. So we will write the same 1 by 40 RF. Now below this question we can write the type of scale that is diagonal scale use the same format of net writing so this is the question in this way you can solve any question from diagonal scale